Hello everybody and welcome to this video which is going to focus on binary, deanery and hexadecimal. Now this is going to be an introduction to those terms for people that maybe have no experience with what they are or maybe need a bit of a refresher as to what they are and what they do. Now those terms, binary, deanery and hexadecimal are different ways to kind of count and use numbers. Okay, It can be very complicated and intimidating if you know that they're on a test or a revision list or if it's something you really need to learn um, and you just don't know where to start so this video is going to be your starting point now i'm going to make further videos on how to uh, go into a bit more detail of each of those for example how to count using binary how to add up different binary numbers how to convert between binary and hexadecimal and deanery and so on but this video just an introduction okay give you a good idea of what they are if you have any questions uh, please feel free to post them below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as possible but other than that um, i hope you enjoy this video so as we said earlier binary deanery hexadecimal it's different ways to think about numbers different ways to be counting and using them so let's start with deanery so this is the way how we naturally speak when we're using numbers it's a natural way of counting now it's called a base 10 system because we've got 10 different values those values being 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 um, who knows why more than likely because we've got 10 fingers on our hands so certain things are taken for granted when we do talk about that so it's the idea that just think about what a 10 is so a 10 is a 1 and a 0 an 11 is a 1 and a 1 or two ones um, but it's that idea that we don't have any other characters it's just that 0 to 9 so it's 10 characters it's known as a base 10 system now what that also means as well is when you're on the number 9 so if you're counting you go 1 2 3 4 5 7 8 9 then what do you do then the idea is is what when you've got another number to add to that there is no 10th or there is no kind of 11th character because obviously zero is one of your characters so what do you do well what you do then is you put a one and a zero now that one in the 10 represents one lot of 10 we're going to talk about that later on but it's that idea though that we we shift numbers across we add digits on to represent bigger numbers so a number such as six million um, is going to have quite a few digits um, along the way because it's a bigger number okay so a, a deanery is a base 10 system because it's got 10 different characters uh, probably because we've got 10 fingers and a couple of thumbs well eight fingers and a couple of thumbs on our hand um, but yeah that that's what we generally speaking whenever we talk about numbers we always use deanery or that's what we used to use and so it's kind of this whole section is about trying to think about it in a slightly different way now one of those other ways that you could think about it is binary so binary is uh is, is a natural way of thinking for a computer so there's only two different values and that's a zero and a one so that digit that number two digit um that little thing right there doesn't really exist in binary it's just zeros and ones uh, that means it is a base two system um who knows why uh, maybe because computers have electricity in them and it's just an, like an on and off switch maybe but it's that idea though that again if we're counting when we're counting in deanery and we get all the way up to nine and then we're like all right okay what's next uh, then we we add another another digit on the end of it so we make a one and a zero which represents that now we get to that stage a lot sooner with binary because if we count in binary we go right zero one oh that's it i've run out now so what can i do next so automatically then you're going to add uh, you're going to make that one zero in the same way that with base 10 it represents the actual number 10 like 10 single units uh, in binary a one and a zero represents only two we'll talk about that soon though don't worry about that but it's just that idea though that in binary there's not a number there's not a number two in binary to do that in the same way that there's not a number 10 in deanery you have to add an extra column with a one and a zero to it um very complicated uh to get your head around 
but it's that idea though that when do we add the extra number in so with say for example 967 that's got three different numbers there a nine a six and a seven so it's all about when do you determine when to add that extra number now hexadecimal is a base 16 system and it's used because it can be very difficult to work out large numbers in binary and even deanery um, for example the deanery number so when we normally count in 71 so in binary that will translate to 01000111 but in hexadecimal it's simply represented as 47 so it's that uh, with base 16 we've actually got um, after the 9 we use letters to represent uh, the the further numbers so after that it will be an A, a B, a C, a D, an E and an F so the idea is that to represent a 10 it's simply the letter A um, stay with me all will become clear hopefully now if you are confused you probably should be um, because without working through some examples it does get a little bit difficult okay so let's talk a little bit about uh, about deanery now when you first learn how to count when you was very very small and you was in primary school maybe uh, or the first school you was at your teachers will teach it in a certain way and when it when they're talking about big numbers you probably use a diagram something along the lines of that so I mean if you if you were just to look at those green numbers there and if you were to read that out as a number you would say 351,489 but that's a very very big number when you first start out in school you don't even work with numbers that big really because it's, it's too much for you to handle really so you start off with the units so you say that that is so imagine um, imagine paper clips maybe so imagine what nine paper clips looks like and then when we add that extra eight, so that doesn't necessarily then become eight paper clips there and nine paper clips there, so that's seventeen paper clips. <coughs> Excuse me. That then becomes eighty-nine paper clips. So imagine what eighty-nine paper clips might look like. Now it's that idea that the number in this second column to the left there represents how many tens there are. So we've gone from units or single units to tens because we count in deanery and that's a base 10 system. So every time we move across a tiny little bit, so if we move across the column there, then that's an extra to an extra to the power of 10 there so that's hundreds now so we've got 10 times 10 is a hundred so that represents so again we've not got 4 plus an 8 plus a 9 which um, will be 21 we have got 489 so imagine how many paper clips that look like it's a lot of paper clips but it's that idea though that each extra number in the line represents um, an extra we, we're multiplying things this number by 10 again to get a thousand and so on and so on and so on and so on but it works different well it works it's the same format but instead of a base 10 with binary we would use only uh, well we, we we're a, little, a lot quicker we don't get all the way to 10 before we do that so that's a base 10 system because we only use 10 different characters and every time we get to 10 we need to add another column so once you get to 9 if you got 9 you only need one one single column there but once you hit 10 or above then you need that second column for example, the number 12 could actually be described as one ten and two ones. So to display 10 sets of 10, which would be 100, we'd, we'd need to add another column. And to display 10 sets of 100, which is 1,000, you'd need that extra column again. And then to display 10 sets of 1,000, you'd need another column right there. Okay, so binary it works in the exact same way, but instead we only have two different characters, and every time we add an extra column, it's only representing a multiple of two instead of ten. So instead of having units, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousands, millions, and so on, we'd simply have this. We'd simply have a single unit, so that'd be units, this one, and then how many twos, how many fours, how many eights, how many sixteens. So one, two, three, four, five columns across when we get to sixteens. On deanery would be one, two, three, four, five. We'd be on how many ten thousands are in this number. So at the moment, I'll give you an example there as well. And I've used the binary number, uh, one, zero, one, one, or one, zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, one. 
okay so let's talk about that now this one because we always use Dina it's dead easy to read out aloud we know it's, that's 351,489 but what about this binary number what actually how many paper clips would 101001111 look like that's the question that we're, we're trying to ask um, we can kind of picture in our mind uh, what what the deanery on the 351,000 paper clips look like but what would that look like it's, it's very difficult to picture that in your head without kind of you need to work that out because we generally don't work in binary we don't know what that is so to work it out we say to ourselves right there's a one in the 128 column so okay I'm on 128 so far we've got nothing in the 64's column I've got a 32 in that column so what's 128 plus 32 um, what's that? If your maths is any good, you should be thinking about 160 at the moment. Then I've got nothing in the next two columns, but I've got a four there. So now I'm on 164. Oh, there's something in the. There's one in the two columns. So one two 166 and one one 167. So one zero one zero zero one 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 is actually 167. So that's how to work out binary numbers. And we've actually just worked out that binary number into deanery then because, again, we kind of count in deanery. But we know how many paper clips that would look like. Or, again, we can we can imagine how many paper cl clips that would look like. I hope you're with me. This is probably a stage of the video where, if you're not, you should maybe go back a little bit and maybe re-watch a little bit. So I'm going to talk about hexadecimal. And that's definitely going to throw you off if you're not familiar with what we've talked about already okay so moving on this is where it gets even trickier um, but it's all dead easy though once you're used to it to be honest um, so it can be tricky this so if you're just getting your head around binary now I'm gonna go the complete opposite way what if instead of having moving up every 10 that we have we move up to uh, actually having 16 different values for our numbers so when you're first learning um, it is very overwhelming this don't feel bad if you're a bit confused by this so all you need to do is understand that you don't always have to count using only a base 10 system so hexadecimal is a base 16 system so every column represents a multiple of 16 because we don't have a single character in our language bigger than a 9 we represent 10 to 15 with the letters a to F instead. This means that if you count him in hexadecimal, you simply go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. With the example that the letter C has the value of 12. So you'd, if you're counting normally, then that would represent 10, 11, 12 for C. Okay. So for the purpose of learning, we only use two columns for hexadecimal. Um, if you're doing this in a test, you're generally only going to get the two columns there. So I've given an example right now of what should this be. So we know that we have got one set of seven, or we've got seven sets of one, whichever you where you want to look at it, and now 16C. So what? So this is the actual hexadecimal number is C7. But how many paper clips does that represent then? What 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 we're looking at with this? Okay, what does C7 mean? So if I was to say to you, pass me over C7 amount of paper clips, you'd be like, what? Um, but that that's what you're going to need to know. That's what we need to know to translate. Um, so C7. So what is C? So we said that C is 12. So the idea is that we know we have got 12 sets of 16 okay that's what we work with so what is 12 times 16 and then we know we've got seven sets of one so 12 sets of 16 plus seven sets of one um, when you've got the answer feel free to post it below in the comments section or if you don't want to do that you don't have to do that um, I'd be grateful if you could do though just to confirm it but don't worry if not, if you if you know that you've got the right answer, then you're on the right track. So binary, deanery, and hexadecimal, different ways to count. It's just different ways of saying how many numbers are we work with or how many characters do we work with with this. Um, so say for example, if we was gonna have a third column over this side as well, so it would go one, sixteen, what would be the next number there then? Have a think about that. 
post that down below as well if you want to. Um, I hope you have, um, I'm not going to go as far as to say enjoyed this video. I'm not sure if anybody has ever in the history of the whole universe enjoyed learning uh, what is binary, denary, and hexadecimal. Maybe I'm wrong with that though. Um, but I personally saw it as something that was like, oh, I find this fairly difficult, especially if maths is not your strong point. But if maths isn't a strong point and you learn this, uh, then you go in a good way to kind of boost in your maths skills up as well, okay? So, if it's confusing, re-watch any parts of it, and I'm going to put more videos on to do with this section so that we're totally 100% clear with binary, deanery, and hexadecimal. But hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to kind of talk about what what each one is a base whatever of so uh, binary base 2 system because we only use zeros and ones deanery base 10 because we use 0 to 9 and hexadecimal base 16 because we got all the way up to F with A representing 10 and then so on um, thank you very much for watching this video watch out for all the rest of the videos in this uh, this topic I'm going to put them all in a playlist for your um, for your convenience thank you very much goodbye